Lock your doors, lock your windows, and keep a light on, because the Dark Stalkers are coming back. As a, uh, and look at for them anyway. <laughs> I was about to say, like, you, you wish they were coming back. I wish, because this, this series is in de desperate need of a new entry. Like, so bad. Something, but the, mm. it does. Considering how often they tease the idea of getting a new entry. They still put Morgan in the Marvel vs. Capcom series, so what the hell? Well, that's the issue, is I think that... Oh, God. Well, that's the issue, is because, for the most part... They don't. They see it as like, oh, we don't need another Capcom fighter. We have Marvel vs. Capcom for that niche. That, which is about a lot of people say is about as valid as saying like, oh, no, we don't need a new F Zero when we have Mario Kart. So I mean, that's it, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, for the sake of showing off, giving the series some love on the channel, welcome to our look at quote unquote of Darkstalkers Chronicle: The Chaos Tower, a launch title for the PSP, and honestly, assuming you don't mind the fact that it's on a system that nobody really bought back in the day. It's honestly the definitive way of really experiencing the Darkstalker series as a whole, because it more or less chronicles a good handful of the series as a whole, as well as um, giving, putting out a few extra, you know, tid, tidbits and whatnot. So, basically how this goes is that, um, okay, so first things first, I'm going to do a simple arcade mode run, and, I mean, look at all the characters you have at your disposal. Like, they pretty much have every single character for the sake of the game, including those that weren't in the third game previously, the ones uh -huh. on the bottom. Yeah. But, now that being said, for the sake of my run, I'll be picking this naughty little bitch over here. No. Baby Bonnie Hood. Uh, I'm guessing and... she's your main in the series. Ooh. She's one of my, she's one of my better characters in the game, yes, because uh, I mean I, I just jive with her fighting style the most, and honestly, as a character, she's probably one of the most hilarious because oh, she's your, she's just your typical little Red Riding Hood sort of character with a dark twist. Oops. Oh, yeah, an assassin. Yeah, it's like you remember that uh, you remember that one monkey fable from Ape Escape Two. Let's just say whoever wrote that was probably a Dog Stalkers fan. Oh, more probably. than likely because yeah. So Baby Bonnie Hood, from what I recall, is that. Well, she's just your typical human assassin. I mean, oh, human who has the so twisted soul of a Darkstalker, and that was just enough of a catalyst for her to be warped to this strange new land called Magigen, where all the other Darkstalkers were warped as all as a part of uh, uh, the villain's plot to try and make a brand new, um, you know, demon world. Yep, gotcha. they want to. It's a whole big thing, and uh, beyond that, whoa, whoa. Uh, damn. <laughs> beyond that, like uh, in Japan, she's also known as Bulleta. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, uh, her whole thing is that she is uh, yeah she is very much a dark hunter of sorts. And she's uh, really she's pretty much killing off dark. She's killing off all sorts of demons and whatnot, most primarily for the money. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, Makes uh, sense. And yeah, and yeah, the fact that she actually almost at one point commanded the respect of Jedha to be involved in all this mess. But uh, yeah, so other than that, uh, Dark Stalkers, to what I've under to what I'm understanding, Dark Dark Stalker, ah, Dark Stalkers, is a very very moody Halloweeny kind of a beat 'em up or fighting game. Yeah, it's basically take Street Fighter and include every single B horror trope you can that you can think of. Yeah. And honestly, just in terms of like gameplay mechanics and whatnot, some would argue that Dark Stalkers is where a lot of like the momentum and whatnot that the Marvel vs. Capcom series took. Well, yeah, I can tell, like, with the gauges and whatnot. Oh, with that, oh, with that fire, oh, with that fire thing up there? Uh, not so much the fire thing, but more so, like, uh, like the, uh, status bars you can see, that you see on the bottom, as well as its, uh, its method of, you know, how, you, you technically have, like, two health bars, as opposed to just going, going by two rounds. Although, uh, for the sake of Darkstalker Chronicles, you do have the option of doing the original rules. But I decided not to do that, because this is just faster. Right, I yeah. did notice earlier that you could. I, I did notice earlier that you could pick that with uh, Chronicles. You can pick uh, a number of different. You can pick whatever mode of all the other fighting games you preferred using. Mm -hmm. You know what? I know that the donkey is just there for the sake of like a dece deceiving aesthetic, but I feel like since he doesn't do much, I think it'd be funny if even the dog was in on the whole shtick. Maybe like one of her hyper attacks would be the dog just like pulling out like a rocket launcher, just shooting at the anyone. <laughs> Ends up being the fucking dog from Wild. That guns. would be funny. I mean, considering considering what this considering what this freaking franchise can get away with, I could totally see that. I mean, so yeah. So talking about the series itself, this is what gave us, you know, Morgan, Lilith, Succubus sisters, uh, Felicia, a nun who's also a Catwoman, pretty, uh, pretty loosely dressed Catwoman who's also well. A nun. I mean, it, it was just enough to. It was, she's just you know covered enough to give the game a T rating. 
Actually, yeah. what's really funny is that, like, I believe they mentioned, like, when they were designing the characters, they were initially wanting, like, uh, they were initially wanting Felicia to have, like, a really cutesy design. And I guess in some aspects it's kind of cutesy, but it's, like, <laughs> definitely not quite what they were, like, originally aiming for. Like, I think it's it was to a point where they were afraid she would be sexier than Morgan. Yeah. Well, I mean, look where we are now. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing I'm looking at here is that in terms of when you with you fighting Victor is another thing I look at this game and see that I love a lot is I love the uh, like normally like if, if there's a sprite based combat, it's like very cookie cutter of, oh, uh, this is their standard getting hit attack. This is their or, this is their standard getting hit animation. This is their standard getting launched in the air, air animation. But all but like right there. Um, they actually, there's a lot of detail in terms of how each character's attacks interact with the other opponents. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they, they, and they play with that the most in the uh, third game, Dark Soccer's 3, or, or as it's called in the arcades, uh, Vampire Savior. Yeah. yeah, like, compared to a lot of other, like, versus games, this one definitely displays a lot of personality during fights. Uh, so, uh, as, uh, the connoisseur of fighting games, what's your take on it, Jordy? I like it. Like, uh, Have you ever played any of the Darkstalkers games? I mean, if I recall, maybe not. I mean, I know my brother owns one of the games, or at least played it, like, once or twice. But, uh, other than that, my only exposure to, uh, Darkstalkers was through, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Okay. I think it's safe to say that's where a lot of people got introduced to these really interesting movie monster as characters. Yeah. Right. I know Baby Bonnie Hood was in one of them. Uh, any oh, other she uh, she was in the third. She was in the third game. Wait, Baby okay. Bonnie Hood? Yeah, Baby yeah. Hood. She was she was pretty much in the third and quote unquote last game in the series. Right. <laughs> they did. They unfortunately didn't do much with the franchise aside from like side stuff after this. Oh, okay. For Med, I thought we were still talking about Marvel vs. Capcom. I was like, no, wait, she's not in three. Yeah, I got, I got confused. No, she's in two, I think. Well, to be fair, who wasn't in two? Fair, fair. Uh, I can think of maybe a handful of Dark Soccer characters that could have been in two, but weren't. Like, Shinko or um, Bishamon or heck, even Jeddah, Who surprised? Again, I'm still shocked they actually added him of all characters to um, Infinite. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, just, do you have any? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no you, you do your thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be looking into. I'm gonna be doing some research. Continue. Okay. Well, I, I also want to like just give Ch Jordan some more chances to get involved. Like, from what you've seen of Dog Stalkers, like who would you say are some of your favorite characters in the series? Like, whether it be in terms of gameplay or personality or what have you. Or what? Or what all you've seen? You've seen in the series. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I haven't tried the gameplay for Dark Stalkers yet. At least, again, not to my knowledge. But visually. I like the idea of Baby Bonnie Hood. I like, uh, I know I've definitely played as Morgan in the, in the Marvel games. Like, uh, I, th I think she's pretty versatile. Uh... Um, she's, she's effectively this game's, uh, Ryu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, basically. Aside from that, um... Who else do I like? Oh! Oh, I forgot about Felicia! <laughs> Whoops! How could you forget about Felicia? She's, she's literally your spirit animal. I know! There's no, I'm not. I'd, I would have to. I'll have to get back to you on that. You got Jedi. You got Donovan. You got uh, uh, Lord Raptor. QB. <laughs> Sixty nine. Of course you would, Morgan. Subtle, <laughs> very subtle, succubus. <laughs> very subtle, Capcom. Well, it's a T rating. I completely, for, so... I completely forgot they got away with that. It's perfectly in character. Yeah. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah, one character that I would like to see more. One of my favorite characters, just in terms of her design, was a uh, uh, how to pronounce it, uh, uh, Hishenko. Yeah, uh, the blue zombie girl. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, like she's easily one of my favorites. And again, it, I mean, honestly, right when Marvel's Capcom 3 came out, that was like the perfect time for me to, you know, really appreciate her being in that game because this was just after my whole teen years where I was really like high on this stuff. Right. Um, but though, that, yeah. I, though I guess I should give a quick disclaimer. My game playing skills have been, have been immediately obvious. I am no professional or two D fighters, so nah, don't don't, don't, so, don't be surprised if I make a bunch of rookie mistakes. That's all right. Yeah, we don't no, judge. you're fine. Or specifically, the three of us don't judge. Yeah. But as far as like characters for me, um, I do know I do recognize that the likes of like Morgan and Felicia are mainstays. Um, one character that amuses me for some reason is Lord Raptor. Oh yeah, the oh, zombie. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. He's just, cool. just something about like a rocker zombie I just find really amusing. Oh, and right. uh, the, the Sasquatch. Oh, yeah, Sasquatch. Oh, yeah. Named Sasquatch. Sasquatch, the Sasquatch. Let's see. In terms of other things that that Darkstalkers had with had going for it, there was also a <laughs> get up the money. Yeah, <laughs> is that right on, right on top of her corpse? Get everything in the world, yeah. It's, it's like nice yes, to meet you, but it's like okay. So other things to talk about with um, Darkstalkers is uh, there was at one point a Japanese OVA, <laughs> which yeah. is honestly a really good anime, assuming you're already a fan of the series. And, and also, it's really. Was, fun. I was about to say, what's really funny is that, like, looking back on it, it's like... So, in, in addition to that, we, in the States, also had a Darkstalkers cartoon, which wasn't particularly good. But what's funny is that, like, a handful of the actors from that reprise their roles in the OVA. Like, for example, Lord Raptor is voiced by Scott McNeil in both of them. Yeah. Oh, cool. no, it just goes to show what the... I mean, first off, the fact that Darkstalkers over here was... Uh, quote-unquote seen as a American children's animated show. This is not for children. No. It's literally not. It's really not. I mean, granted, a good handful of Capcom stuff beyond Mega Man is very questionable, questionable in terms of whether you should be showing this to your kids or not. This is not yeah. a fighting game for good girls and boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is although, why although, they're not going to be... Excuse me? I was about to say. Although I would totally not be opposed to any Darkstalkers character being put in the game, even as unlikely as that sounds. I would like... like I, mean, I feel like if there were going to be any Darkstalkers characters, I have a feeling it would probably be either a Dimitri or with heavy alterations, Morgan. I don't know. I, would, I honestly think Jeddah... Oh, 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 no. They cannot put Jeddah in Smash Brothers. That would easily give the game a T rating. Oh, really? Yeah, because he's, he's essentially a blood... For lack of a better word, a bloodbender. I know, but it's like... Uh, okay, fair, okay, fair with the blood... Okay, I was just thinking... Okay, I was just thinking in terms of just visual design alone. He seems pretty tame. I mean, that would be cool. Don't, don't get me wrong. And to be fair, you say that about Morgan. After seeing Pyra get put in the game... Yes, we were recording after that whole announcement. No, it's fine. This is long ago. It kind of makes me all the more pissed off that, you know, back when... Oh, hello. Oh, the Midnight Bliss. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Yeah. He drains our blood. I, the CPU was good enough to actually pull that stun on me. <laughs> but yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like, to give it a bit of cred, I think that was nice. based on, like, censored designs that they had for certain regions, because I know Mithra had that as well. Oh, yeah, no, uh, Mithra was what definitely censored. Pyra's is still the same, though, with those goddamn ass Nice! Rats. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> what? She sings. Oh, sometimes cute. they'll sometimes they'll sing the victory theme. She does and anyway. Pyro. That's cute. All right. Uh, Pyron. Yep. Flame God. This lovable flame ball was the was the villain of the first and second Darkstalkers. Meanwhile, on a train that literally wants to eat us. But just yeah, I mean, I would love a freaking. Dude, my dream would be to get the people who do the Guilty Gear games to do a Darkstalkers game. Which is funny, um, considering the Guilty Gear series, if I'm not, if what I've heard correctly, was, uh, did take inspiration from Darkstalkers. Oh, but it's combat, absolutely. And, and if you're wondering, uh, how Guilty Gear is this, like, other fighting game, and the, especially with the most recent one, they've been, like, it, I don't, I forget if they're, were they the ones who also did, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z's? Yes. No, you're thinking of Ark. Yeah, well, just, yeah, just the fact that they have been, like, they have perfected this, like, technique of making Ow. 3D look very 2D animated. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah it is Ark. Like, I honestly wouldn't be against Ark doing another, doing a Darkstalkers game. <laughs> I just would like to say real quick, after doing that grab attack, how do you cut a Galactus knockoff? I, like that. I, uh, so she found a way. But uh, I guess with all the saying, is there is there a character for what you've seen so far that... Uh, uh, not a character, because we asked that. Um, does this look like a series that you would be willing to give a shot at any time, Jordy? What do you think about it? I mean, it does uh, pique my interest a little bit if it means anything. I will say, if you do, if you do plan on giving Darkstalkers a shot, I would recommend either two, uh, either two things: either the what we're playing right here, the PSP uh, Darkstalker Chronicles uh, Chaos Tower, which pretty much again amalgamation of all the Darkstalker stuff, or a slightly more recent release, uh, you know, Darkstalkers Resurrection. Yes, that which was released on PS3 and Xbox 360 way back in the day, and was. Mm -hmm. You know, Capcom's initial attempt to try to raise awareness in the series, although they didn't really do a damn good job, and the game sold poorly as a result. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really, really too hot. it really is a shame because it's hey, like, oh. welcome to the cradle of life. Soon yep. the preparations for the resurrections will be complete. You have proven <laughs> yourself as earned the right to become the key to the process. Step forward and partake in my charity of mercy. 
Yeah, no, good writing. Okay, Mr. Man. And just go, just just shoot him. With yeah, light. it's just like... Again, I'll never get over the fact that the, who voiced him in Infinite, same guy that voices is Clank. Oh, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, David Kay has a magnificent range. Oh, that's cool. I'll to that. By the way, welcome to the fetus of God. Yeah, creator's feet. Yeah, no, this game has some really messed up. But, but just that you're like... But it, it's a very niche, like... It's a very niche... Ow. ow. It's a very niche, um, like franchise but it it's still something like it's still freaking like it's still a fire that i think deserves like to have like just i love how like it is just a really nice fun horror you know creepy fighter game oh it, it definitely is a ma it definitely is a massive cult classic honestly all things considered like considering the capcom still sort of doing stuff with street fighter 6 i just think or excuse me, Street Fighter 5, honestly, they haven't done 6 yet, but I would say before they even bother doing a 6, I think they should just give, you know, Darkstalkers and Honest to God a second chance and just go the full 9 yards with its um, budget. With a new like game. game. Exactly. Like, see how far they could take that, and yeah, uh, that happened. Wow. Ouch. Uh, oh yeah, that's also another thing, like, not entirely dissimilar to the likes of Mortal Kombat, there's some, like, special finishing moves that you can do, and they don't hold back. Yeah. I mean, granted, this would be the appropriate series to go pulling that kind of crap, and they don't quite go the same. Again, they don't go quite the same severity as um, Mortal Kombat, but uh, they do pull stunts. That will shock you. It. I mean, again, it's a real horror. But um, man, you know, now that I think about it, it's like if they're never gonna give us. If I know why, but if they're never gonna give us a Street Fighter cross Mortal Kombat, at least give us like a Dark Stalkers cross Mortal Kombat. That'd be cool. Uh, I mean, and that would make the most sense. That really does sound, that really does seem like something they should have done a while ago. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oof. Um, Bye. But, I guess it's, oh, oh, oh. Whoop. Ouch. But, man. Yeah, but, no, yeah. Jenna gave me a hell of a workout. But, yeah, but with Cap, but yeah, with Capcom going on a huge, like, you know, wanting to go back and remaster a lot of their classics, I would love if they did, did something new with Darkstalkers soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's I think it's overdue. And you know what? It's funny. You know, another thing I should probably go ahead and bring up. Why haven't they put any of the Dark Soccer games on the arcade stadium? It would be perfect. Uh, oh, that's right. The only thing I could think of is that, like, I know this is a bit of a high hopes thing. It probably won't happen. Maybe they're planning on making a collection for the Switch, you know, kind of nice. not unlike the last couple of collections they've been making. I mean, that would be nice, but I also get the feeling that, considering they already, you know, put in a whole bunch of games that were already in previous collections on the Switch, I just feel like that's not really a good excuse. Yeah, so, uh, Jeddah, summon, Jeddah trying to summon us to help play into his ritual didn't work out too well, we, uh... I'm Unfortunately, oh. though, despite things being at peace for now, this ugly abomination is still there. Whoa. Uh... And uh, yeah, one of one of two images can be put here, and I end up getting the the, the more fan servicey one. Uh, oh no! Of course. <laughs> is it going so slow? Okay, yeah, let's talk on. about it. Let's savor let... every moment. I would have loved if somehow you just suddenly slapped on like Patrick's face uh, over just one of them, just to like just freaking who you call Pinhead. Pinhead. More than the Pinhead. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, fairly sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I mean, it's dark. I mean, that's the game. Like, I'm, we're not. No one's faulting. Like, that's part of this game's identity at this point. At the very least, it looks more tasteful than most crap like that I've seen. Yeah. yeah. So, uh. Yeah, but um, so now we finished arcade mode. Now what? Um, uh, before yeah. we do end off, um, uh, actually, I guess I should have said this much earlier, but a lot of the uh, foundation for this uh this uh port up mostly takes from an a, a um, enhanced version of Dark of a Vampire Savior called uh, Vampire Savior Two. Mm -hmm. Does its own uh -huh. little ending sort of bit, but it also for some reason omits uh the endings that you can get with the regular characters. But thankfully, um. The, thankfully, if you do end up beating a arcade mode with a certain character with a certain mode, you get their ending that you can view at your leisure, even though they play as FMVs. In a small house, house inside, yeah, I see the depression. Uh, uh, that horrible serial killer. Switching over to our lay down the streets. And I love how, like, compared to all the other endings that Dark Soccer 3 has, this is the most stylized, because this is so fucking silly. It yeah. is. It was a child with a red hood. Who, uh, the the perpetrator of a ruthless massacre. Oh, mommy, I'm so scared. <laughs> can... Oh, Dude, it's a rat demon. Dangerous. What can we do? Oh, they're, they're, they're wolves. Oh, a little wolf family. Yeah, oh, I get it because it's Red Riding Hood. Meanwhile, speaking of which, 
Oh, hello. Da, 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 oh, da, no. da, da, Little reds come to collect. But they're demons, so it's okay. Uh-huh. Also, I noticed that one of those trees was literally smoking his own bark. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, the, you could say there are demons, Logan, but think about it. Who among them is the real demon? <laughs> and this is, right. is probably BB Hood. So uh, before oh, we do end off, I'll briefly show off this game's unique mode, the Chaos Tower. Basically, this entire, you know, a cavalcade of floors where you uh, un you go through random battles with three fighters of your choice. So it's kind of okay. like an endurance mode? Something like that. Though in doing these, Yay. you also get to unlock a, neat, a whole bunch of extras if you uh, fulfill certain requirements. So I mean, oh, Concept yeah. art, music, and the like. How cool, you can get like an assist mode or a partner mode? Uh, basically, these are the three characters I can switch between at any time. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. Now, yeah, when you put it like oh, that, yeah, wow. For also, Shina. can I just... I, I, I don't know if I'm the only person that points this out, but it's, it's always a little bit weird to me where Lilith's animation, because... I think Lilith is supposed to be like a clone type character to Morgan. Lilith has like this really smooth looking animation where it looks like she's actually, you know, like breathing. Whereas Morgan, she's always completely still except for her hands and hair. Well, she's just more calm and composed, where Lilith is the more energetic type. Makes sense. At least that's what I always get out of it. So, uh, for, so yeah, this will pretty much be my excuse to show off some of the other characters I like to play as in this game. And Sasquatch. Just because oh. I have started to take a bit more of a liking to him in recent years. Oh yeah, okay. he, he's, he's a dork. He totally is. Yeah, but yeah, so this is this is Sien, Sien Ko based on those uh, uh, Japanese zombie. Uh, the, Chinese zombies. Chi Chinese, uh, or the Chinese vampire, the hopping one. Or, no, 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 that... Yeah, yeah no, 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 she's totally based on the hopping zombies. Okay. Who is... Uh, she, along with her sister, uh, uh, Bei really? Ling, are, they pretty much formed together to make this super fighter that could pull a whole bunch of stuff out of her long sle sleeves. Yep. Yeah, like weights and bars and whatnot. Yep, but yeah, yeah, she's definitely a zombie controlled via that talisman. <laughs> yeah, I can tell much. from her movements that she looks zombie-like. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. All in all, the, all in all, really good series that deserves a comeback. Uh, you have any other thoughts on that type? Mm, my sentiments exactly, Dudley. <laughs> Where did that even come from? Uh, oh, what I... Uh, hmm? Go ahead. Oh, what I said? It just yeah. makes me think of, like, just a random episode of the old Dudley Do-Right cartoon. Like, I think they were trying to, like, trick Snidely Whiplash into not kidnapping, like, the, the chief's daughter by having the Dudley, like, tie for cosplay as the daughter. Oops. And it's like, after a bit of confusion, uh, the the chief ends up taking the daughter away, thinking it's Snidely, and it goes, Well, well, I say all's well that ends well. My sentiments exactly, Dudley. Which is, gotcha. so hilarious, which is funny coincidence considering Street Fighter has a character named Dudley and he's honestly one of the more interesting characters that franchise has. Yeah. Oh, so I guess I should ask. So what's going on with this whole tiered system that we've been seeing uh, going up this tower? Is there like certain ways to select a fight? Uh, basically, if you if you if you finish a fight with, under certain conditions, uh, you can actually you can act, you can uh, go to different levels, and in which case, unlock. You can, and in some cases, Oop. you know, unlock Oops. certain extras. Okay. Well, actually, like this game, this, game, on... th this mode is highly replayable. I was about to say, like, Jeez. now that he, now that he was on screen, I was about to say that's another character that I kind of have a slight partialness to, John Talbain. John Talbain, from what I've heard, is actually a lot more popular in the West than he is in Japan. Oh, I know. That and him and uh, what was his name, uh, Lord Raptor. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, Lord Raptor. Lord Raptor in and of himself is a fucking weirdo, but even in the cartoon. Yeah. Well, of course, like he's he's an absolute freak, and that's part of why he's so amusing. Yeah. And of course, we have the sisters fight. Well, sisters in quotes, because Lilith, from what I immediately remember, is actually a portion of Morgan's power given manifestation thanks to Jeddah. Oh, and that's why they're villains. You know what? I'm just now reminded. You know, what I'm just reminded of Logan. Hmm. Now that they're both on screen, I'm just thinking like, oh, what are you doing? They love each other very much! <laughs> oh, right, that one, all oh, that freaking, um, something about, um... More, it's, I think it's called Morgan Does a Thing. More, yeah, that's Before right, it was the, the Does, Does a, a thing, thing series. series, that's the one. My sister is so weird, unlike, unlike you, you, Doctor. doctor. <laughs> and yeah, that's freaking pie. Honestly, oh. that, honestly, that's the thing where it's like, yeah, that's honestly what I think of when I think of pie sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's not that's not entirely untrue. Honestly, now that I think about it, this definitely seems like a kind of series Pi would like be so involved into. 
Yeah, I'll have to see if she's... I don't know what her stance is on, like, you know, 2D fighting games like this, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we could always uh, ask oh, her. And I see you unlock concept art for this. I will say, as much as I would love to, you know, keep going with this whole mode, show off the characters a bit more, I'd say it's about high time we call it. Yeah, yeah I was about to say, because I imagine this is one of those modes where it's, like, the only way you can really stop is if you lose. Uh, mm -hmm. no, you can exit out whenever you want. Oh, okay, that's fair. Like, hence why you're doing that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I didn't want this to go any further than, out, than, you know, 25 minutes. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for our look at on Darkstalker Chronicles, the Chaos Tower for the PSP. Again, it's one of those cases where if the thing weren't so unsuccessful, I'd hope, I'd have met, I would hope that this thing was also more successful, but yeah, such is not the case. But with the return of things like the medieval horror, like remaster on PS4 and stuff, I would... I'm curious to see if they would do anything else for other niche titles. I mean, again, I would all, I will very much appreciate the day that Capcom actually decides to take a chance and give Darkstalkers a, a new meaning on life. But until then, we're just going to have to settle with cameos. Yeah. Lots, of, lots of cameos. <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, considering that the PSP, for all of its faults, it has a lot of like underappreciated Capcom stuff. They really should just eventually release, like, a Capcom PSP collection for the other consoles. That would be nice. I mean, I, I would love for freaking Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins and Mega Man Powered Up to not fall into the ether. And Mega Man Rex. Of mm -hmm. course. I can't forget about that one. Just, I feel bad for Capcom and their, PS, and their you know, their plights with the PSP because the, they honestly put out some of their best material on there. It's, it's just a shame that, you know, the PSP wasn't a success. Yeah. yeah. The DS was pretty much making all the rounds, and I mean, I still love the DS for what it's worth, but it's like, yeah. That's a whole tirade I could go on in, on some other video. So, uh, that said, uh, see y'all later. See ya. Uh, quote.